Jason Brandenburg present. Present, hey. Diane Bostow not present at the moment. And our and myself, that's excuse me, it's all betcha it's Diane. Or maybe not. There you are. Okay, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay. Bye bye. I have no idea how I turned on my speaker. <laughs> God, I hate a new phone. That flip phone is new. A week old. Okay, so, so that wasn't called for. I have one too. My previous flip phone was nine years old. He bought it from a museum. I'm like the Midas guy. Well, that wasn't called for I too. Help. I mean, I have one okay. too. And you notice the 50 year old crowd has those things. I've got, I'm, I'm going to just start writing names down. Tiffany, you're here. <laughs> Jeff is here. Greg Cresswell is here. And Jonathan, are you on the phone? No, he's not. That's all right. Greg Stempel, you're on the phone, correct? Okay. Is there anyone else on the phone besides Greg? There is not. Okay. So, Diane will be here in a matter of a couple minutes. Um, could everyone take a look at the agenda, please? And Tell me if there's anything that they would like to add. Okay, hearing none, I would accept a motion. Motion, motion. to accept the agenda. Second. Okay. Is there any opposition to approving it? Okay. We'll be right along. Um, Minutes were posted a long time ago. Does I have a few copies. Of yeah. Does anybody anyone have, have any questions or input related to the prior minutes? We'll take a couple minutes to look that over. Did you want some more copies? No, I forgot. Anyone Thank want you more copy? Copy of the minutes? I'll eat after that. I'll eat. Yes. Thank you. I have some more if anybody wants to. Ma'am? Yes. Oops. I get a box for you. No rush. had a chance to review those a little bit. Do you want to make a motion? I don't see anything mentioned about the, uh, maybe it's because the motion was withdrawn about the uh, the free uh, lifetime memberships for you and for Emily. Did that it just was, not make it into the no, minutes? No, it was withdrawn. So withdrawn. Yeah. All right, all right, fair enough. Uh, that's the only thing I noticed that's missing. So yeah, motion to approve. Okay, second. And is there any opposition? Okay. So we have time for open floor. I see we have a couple guests take these three counties, which are not part of their affiliate, and basically work together with Dana so that we can allow these three counties, which at this point really don't have any representation. And it's, and it's just simply too far for people to go over to Traverse City, where we have another group it's not an affiliate but just a group of counties that we bunched together for this purpose um and essentially what it comes down to is dana and the kids just couldn't get along so 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 we gave the affiliate the, back their, some their, of their territory we gave the affiliate back their counties to deal with in their way and dana's dealing with the remainder herself so it's just blatant favoritism no, it's not that at all. It's cooperation. Why aren't we cooperating with Zach rather than Dana? Well, first of all, we've gotten no response from them. That we've attempted. So he did not sign off on this new plan? He absolutely did not. Okay. And we're under no obligation. Actually, they really wanted Dana to take over. They wanted Dana to the take over. Dana is, just won't deal with them because they're so uncooperative. group yeah. wants their own group. And they don't want to travel, and neither do the Alpina people right. because none of them have licenses. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's basically a bunch of people who can't get along. And so we said, that's fine. We're, we're gonna do our best to try to facilitate a process. It has nothing to do with being an affiliate or not. Um, so we said to that affiliate, if you put together a situation where you can appoint a delegation, um, you know, obviously they get one delegate, but they also get an alternate, um, then they can just do their thing. And that's what Dana wanted to do, so we agreed to that process. So. It's outrageous. So, would, would anybody like a copy of the list, the listings of the affiliate designations? And the new gerrymandered one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I'll pass. I got it online. Yeah. Well, it's always it's interesting to hear people's commentary. Um, yeah. we're, we're doing the best we can to get folks out in the field yeah. to cooperate. We could have called one meeting and said, show up and deal with it. We didn't do that. We made a decision to try to create some areas that were more convenient for people to be able to function within them. And frankly, most of them have been just fine with that. There's nothing gerrymandered about it, but it comes down to trying to get people to participate. And um, I think we've been as positive and as uh, forthright as we can with that process. And so instead of having two selected in one location, we're going to have one selected in two locations. Thank you for the report, Emily. You're welcome. Um, next, um, it doesn't appear Andrew's going to be able to make it today. So I'm just going to present the information we have, update on where we are. Did he have a chance to talk to you, Emily? Yep. Okay. Is there information that you might want to share about that, or is that just the technical pieces about the door? It's all, it's all technical. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. So uh, the, the biggest thing we need to do is get our uh, website up and organized. The packages that we've put together are as follows. Um, and, and we just put colors on them just for convenience sake. Um, we're offering a gold ticket which is essentially a combination of lunch, dinner, and a year extended membership. And that's $80. So 25 of that will go into the membership kitty. So you're getting a $55 deal if you choose to extend your membership by a year. Obviously under no obligation to do so if you're there. All three. If you are a lifetime uh, well, that doesn't apply. There's a separate for lifetime members. They're essentially getting a $5 or what works out to be an almost 10% discount. If you're a life member, you can get the gold package, which includes dinner and lunch and the, uh, and the information packet for the convention um, for $55. So essentially the lifetime members without the necessity to extend their membership would get the same break as anyone who is. The uh, silver package, which is just lunch and dinner and the and the membership packet, um, is sixty dollars. So anyone who's already a member but chooses not to extend their membership, um, they would get lunch and dinner plus the membership or plus the information packet for sixty dollars. We're doing a bronze packet for folks who may only wish to attend the luncheon and I'll talk to you a little bit about what that is um, that's going to be lunch plus the membership packet plus the the seminar that's part of the lunch and that's going to be twenty dollars um, there will be an a la carte fifty dollar ticket for dinner if you choose to you just want to come for the dinner banquet um, we're also, I, you know, we haven't put a color on it, but we said for any member that would like to get just the membership packet of all the stuff, it's $10. And all that will be available. We want to register everybody online. And that is separate from what Emily's dealing with. And this is the first time we've had to do it that way. So obviously, we'll be working with the Andrews team, which I'm not really necessarily part of. Um, except just to help out. Um, we'll need to get, we want to get these things up online no later than the 10th of June. 
so we've got a couple weeks yet, but that's kind of the time frame we want to work around. Um, Andrew and I have discussed a broad effort to work not just with the Credentials Committee, with those people who have been registered as delegates to encourage them to uh, participate. The, um, the other thing is uh, we're, we're talking about putting together a call list. And, and that kind of circles back to some management questions having to do with the convention in that the way I read our bylaws, um, there are going to be delegates, there are going to be alternate delegates, but that space can be made available for anyone who is a member but not chosen as a delegate to sit in what is essentially a gallery situation. And I think with the space available, that's not really a big issue. I guess the, the real question is how we identify those members so that they, we're not making them uncomfortable, but at the same time, some of them may, through the course of the day, also be chosen to be added to some delegations, depending on who does and doesn't show up. So um, we will be then checking people in that yeah. are that are not that are for their membership status, essentially. Well, basically, everybody will check in, <coughs> whether you're a delegate or not. Right. And right. you'll get a name badge. Right. And if you're a delegate. You will have a um, red ribbon, and if you're uh, alternate, you will get a other color ribbon. And if you're if you're not any either of those, then you go into the guest section. You sit in the guest section. If any at any time somebody from the guest section is um, selected as a delegate or alternate, whatever, during the course of the day. They must go back out and rewrite with you. That's because we have to have that count. So I mean, uh, uh, will we be able to control that uh, incursion, so to speak? That incursion. Okay, that, that movement. Oh, um, we can. We can. It's we're, we're not controlling it. Right. Um, it's up to the affiliate who's short of a delegate or whatever is happening. However, they, um, and then the convention, if it hasn't been named a delegate or alternate seven days in advance, mm -hmm. then they need to, then the convention has to vote on that. Right? But right. that's in our bylaws too. Right. The convention can um, do that, do those changes. But once those changes are voted on, this person still has to go back out and to get a voting ribbon. Right. You, the ribbon is the credential, and so that's what we have to keep track of. So we will be having somebody out there at the uh, credentials desk the whole time. Does yeah. that make sense, and does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> kind of like what goes on at national. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, essentially, yeah. if you're, once you're credentialed to whatever group you're part of, um, then you're good. You're good to go. And I, I suspect there will be a number of people who will get that opportunity who may not have gotten it in advance. Good, 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 good. You know, Jeff. All right, is there going to be a free option for appointed delegates who don't pay for a package? Uh, anyone who is a member can attend for free. They'll get an agenda. Okay, and they'll still, if they're appointed as a delegate, they'll still be able to serve as a delegate without paying for a package. Well, they don't get a package. They don't get they a package. Serve. They become a delegate. They'll get to serve as a delegate. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Will the information contained in the information packet be available online or digitally ahead of time? Some of it will. Um, no, I, I think it's going to come down to how well we can get our uh, committee people to process their work, and but that's always a challenge. There's no specific documents that you're planning on not making available ahead of time? There's no specific documents that I am planning to not make available. Excellent. If we can get the committee, for example, there's a platform committee that has been appointed and they are functioning. I have asked that they have that ahead of time and we can PDF it and put it online, absolutely. For the convenience of delegates, we are producing a packet. Um, and the same is true of the uh, bylaws committee that is appointed and, and functioning. The other documents are largely already online, which are the existing bylaws, the existing platform. Um, the agenda will be available to everyone gratis. Um, 
once every month passed. Yeah. Greg, and yeah, is there anything, is there, would there be something available for sponsorship? Yeah, uh, so I'm thank you. I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. um, we, we haven't established the exact price, but it's probably going to be something a little sneaky like what Kim did. Um, like, <laughs> Uh, if if a member wants a table, it'll be fifty bucks. If a non-member wants a table, it'll be seventy-five or eighty, which means you'll be encouraged to join. Yeah. And we one of the groups that we're hoping to do some interaction with is the MPP people, and they may well want a table. There may be other groups that are interested in mm -hmm. getting a table. Um, Andrew is working to identify some groups that maybe we can get to come in to do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to say that 50 and 80 is the number. Yeah. Um, we have lots of space, and I think it would be really nice if we could find some of those to help offset some of our costs. The reality is, is we looked at other options because one of the things that was talked about at the last LEC meeting was, do we do something other than a banquet? Uh -huh. And the answer came back, we can't meet all of our obligations under the contract for the minimum thresholds unless we do this. Okay. And it, co it comes down to, if you don't sell so much food, then you have to pay for the room. Yeah. And if you've, got to, if you've got to take on $800 in room fees, it's very hard to make that up without somebody else helping out with that. The other thing that, um, this would now be the second one, but I personally think that having adequate... Um, Space? No. Oh. Um, the audit auditory and visual materials, mm -hmm. having the floor mic, having the projector, having the good screen, mm -hmm. all of those things which, you know, most times in the past we've had, but there is an expense there that needs to be offset as well. Mm -hmm. So all of those things are um, baked into these figures. And uh, so, Kim. Talking about expense, what is our break even like? Well, uh, the math on it is about 55 to 60. So, you know, hopefully Delegates? 55 to 60 attendees that, 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 buy the, that buy the package. The gold package? Well, they're, they're, they're not that. different, really. Um, they're, you know, when you're looking at revenue, you know, the way I've always prided myself in doing these things is to separate out the membership money that comes in as a result of convention. I, I don't know if that's completely fair because obviously if you've done a good job to get people to get to the convention, then you know that's revenue that's coming into the party that may not come in at all. We have a lot of people historically who, you know, they participate for a while, then they drop out, and then later, two years later, they join back up, and that's fine. But looking at just the fact that our $25 membership is not sufficient to cover all the costs of our annual year, Getting people whose only participation may be coming to the convention is great, um, but I've always deducted that out. And so, without the membership money, it really—that's why it doesn't matter which package they buy, because if if they extend their membership or they don't, it's certainly good for the party. Right. But it doesn't make a lot of difference. But you're saying like figures. basically our profit and loss is the same no matter what packages is the rest of the yeah. You know, whether they buy a gold or a, a silver, it's going to be about the makes same. Makes sense. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna. Pull that membership money out. I, I don't. I want to take credit for that. That's, That's good. I agree. Okay. So this is all good. What happened is I went to the Wisconsin convention. Okay. Uh -huh. And the, why did I do that? You might say I got up on a Saturday morning and I drove there because it occurred to me with this affiliate thing. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. There are libertarians out here. <laughs> out and this Wisconsin and their uh, uh, Facebook thing, they're always talking about their affiliates doing this, and I went, you know what? They're just over there mm -hmm. from my house. That's a closer drive for you than our convention, isn't it? Honey, it's closer <laughs> than the bridge. Wow. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Okay, or good. We have only good, right, okay? Opportunities, we have opportunities. So anyhow, and Nick work is gonna be there, and I enjoyed him the last time, and, uh, I go on with Andy Craig quite a bit. So I thought, well, this would be fun. The other thing I thought, I thought you know, they have affiliates. They already have affiliates. We share 200 miles of border <laughs> with them, including in places like Menominee and Marinette, okay? Marinette has an affiliate. It's theirs, but they're libertarians that meet. 
And I'm libertarian first, okay? I don't care who they are as long as they're libertarians and they have a chance to get together. So um, I thought, well, let's just go there and just meet some people if it happens. Well, it turns out they are more than happy to invite anybody within driving distance to come to theirs. They have regular scheduled meetings. All I have to do to keep it coming through me, at least in the short run, and because we'll need them to be affiliates eventually, because, and when we want to elect people and stuff, they need to know which side of the border they live on. But for now, there are people that are willing to let me know when their meetings are, and I'll turn right back around and, and send out those. So that's a way to start. Yeah, it is. Okay? Mm -hmm. And they actually are already doing that, though, between Superior and Duluth, because they're across the bridge from each other, too. So um, their meeting was held at a retreat center. And I really want to pass this along as a recommendation for the future because it was their convention. It was three and a half hours from Milwaukee. Most of those people drove three and a half hours to get to that meeting. I asked whether they got as many people. He said, maybe a little bit different people, but yes, as many. They have like 70 voting members there. Okay? Mm -hmm. It was at a retreat that was cheap. Can I get another water? What do you mean by cheap? What was cheap to you? It was uh, $35 a night for lodging. Wow. Well, oh. it's one of those really nice, but it's kind of like a dorm room. Right, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. that's almost retreat time. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and with, but the coolest part was they had this big fire pit, mm -hmm. and it was decent. And I didn't get there until Saturday, and it started Friday. Nick had been sitting around the night before at the campfire. People who had never agreed with each other on anything in that party. Isn't that weird how that happens when you're one-on-one one one and those intimate They still agree yeah. on a lot, but they, they laughed, you know, and then Nick's so funny, <coughs> you know, that he had this laughing, and then he, yeah, he's just very cool. You terrible. haven't met Nick yet, he's awesome. I'm lying, he's not funny. <laughs> well, he tries. Oh. He, he, he's different in person. Okay, we'll see Blair. Oh. Yeah. The oh, mouth. Wow. I mean, the mouth is wonderful. Okay. <laughs> it's you person. had some fun at the special. I'm yeah. Okay, we had some fun. Um, yes, we did. Yes, we did. So anyhow, and then the other cool thing that they did is they had a speaker, an honest-to-God economist, that came to talk economics and not politics. From who? From, 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 from it's always politics Wisconsin. and economics. No, 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 no. Uh, who that was the speaker? On the one hand, yeah, on the no. other hand. But this was a guy yeah. from, uh, it's in Joseph, and it's in here somewhere, from um, Marquette University. Okay. Yeah. He drove there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they paid his way right, and right, stuff, right. Yeah. Now, but he, for an hour, talked about international trade. Mm -hmm. And it was the kind of stuff that we could all use in campaigns mm -hmm. at whatever level. It's all a refresher to some people, mm -hmm. brand new to others. Mm -hmm. The questions from the group mm -hmm. were wonderful. And it was just to me so uplifting at the end of the day to put all the politics, organizational stuff to the side and just sit and listen to somebody who knew they were talking about, be able to ask them questions and all that. So that is a suggestion for another time. Now yeah, this was a two, that it be a retreat. Yeah, yeah. And Ohio just did the same thing about two weeks ago. If you saw anything from the Ohio Convention, they went <coughs> to a gorgeous place. Mm. I think a retreat's good. People put down their garden. I think even, maybe yeah. not every time, maybe, but we're not really big enough to need a big convention hotel. We don't need that environment. Mm. And it was overall cheaper. The, the food was... Mm. Uh, it was simple, but it was like brought some burgers, but they were really good. It makes you everybody kind of like come back. Everybody home, like, just you know, like bring it down. This is what yeah. they look like. Couple, couple questions. Though. Not yet. Mm. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. The other thing is, this is so minutia, but it's worth it to me. This is there. Have you seen these? And I just hadn't seen them yet. This is a magnet. You can you can put this on just about any part of your body you want to. And it doesn't make a pinhole. Oh. And you can put it up here with Instead people of that. What do you call those things? That I love. Thing. And then yeah. everybody puts those down around here uh -huh. somewhere. So yeah. you're going around like this, which yeah. I think is just odd. Uh, so anyhow, and then I would collect these at the end uh -huh. and reuse them. We've I'm been sure. doing that with the pins. Oh. <laughs> there. That's my whole Free comments. Yes. Nope. Not at all.
How many conventions of ours have you been to? One. Exactly. And we had Gary Johnson as a speaker. You mentioned having an economist. And Daryl Perry. Three years ago, maybe? We had, we had uh, the guy from the Mises Center yeah. came and spoke for two and a half hours. So oh, we, that's we've done long. this. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying it was, it was an economist. Are you talking about like, Liberty Fest last, last year? A, the guy from no, Hillsdale? Like a presentation four years ago. Uh, it was from Maine State versus State versus or, uh, fireside setting. <laughs> I agree with that part. I think that's that's wonderful. Um, the packages were also, they don't have them listed here, but I went and looked at them online. Mm -hmm. The speaker meal packages ranged from 110 to 175. For what? For what? For the meal packages. Yeah, but this was, this was Friday night, all day Saturday. Wait, was lodging included? No. No? Well, Not in these packages. Virtually, yes. Well, they're still online. I think it should it go on in Wisconsin. Friday, I think we offer Sunday, pretty good value. It was Friday. I think it's probably, aside from what we have to pay for a hotel, I think otherwise it was about the same. But it was it was Friday evening to Sunday. To Sunday. To Sunday. So we used to do that, too. And I, I'm all in favor I'm just telling you this is what I'm like. Yeah, Multi-day yeah. conventions for the state, I mean, we're mm -hmm. big enough that it warrants it now. Well, I, I agree. We're so divisive because we're so different. And like this type of thing like brings people closer together. All good. I think. Oh, Ohio good. has to have. It's only been group. six years maybe that we've skinny down to the one big deal. Really? I mean, yeah, we used to. We have used to have yeah, Friday night parties. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's Friday the way you get to Sunday. Sunday. But, but, yeah. but the that's truth the is, is that to do them, yeah. you know, uh, I can six, tell you in 2002, six, six, 15 five. years ago, the package in Oakland County, which included, you know, these kinds of events, it was $110. Well, like her and and I'm not against paying so that, but we do have an awful lot of people who, for whom that is. It, it brings us all back down to earth, mm -hmm. like. Because you do pay for that facility in some fashion what? or form. Now, there may be some facilities that can do what you're talking about, and I'd love to see somebody be part of investigating that. Campaign committee for or the convention committee for next year. You, we should have the LEC, the new LEC, maybe take a look at how to do that. Well, I, I think that would be one of our recommendations forward. And I and I commented to the Ohio people, or I commented on Facebook, said this this is cool. This is two for two of you know right close to us mm -hmm. that that did something that was team building. And sometimes you get more when you pay more. And sometimes people are willing yeah. to pay more when they're going well, to get more. And a retreat so, setting well, where you could go... Do you think there might be a difference between the, the, the off year being the, like 2017, the second grade, oh, yeah, so, uh, the 2017, which Wisconsin did, versus what they might do next year in a nominating year where, you're, where you've got more... Yeah. Thank um, you. Yeah. Well, office, office oriented. We're in an, I know, mechanical. yes, they're right. And this, would, this yeah. would have been our chance now, two years from now, would probably be our next yeah. chance. Yeah. And I, I'd love to see us do something way, way <laughs> more. Something. Traverse City, yeah. uh, St. Yeah. Yeah. Ignace. I'm yeah. all for it. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Bill, yeah. Bill, Bill, yeah. Bill, we're on the same page, Bill. Where yeah. I, I think every, every two years, they, they can be done. Like Fire this into Sunday. That would be better. Every, every two years. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it was my reward from the front. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for going. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Maybe that's our way to start getting some uh, affiliate activity going, <laughs> too, by integrating with Wisconsin folks. That well, that's what great they idea. thought, and that's what I thought. Scotty, are you there yet? <laughs> Greg, you still with us? Can you blame him? <laughs> Is anybody uh, there? Run it back. Apparently not. No, that's okay, Greg. I just want to make sure that what was being said was still being absorbed. Um, we wondered if we're at that point. We're at the point in the schedule where um, Scotty would be um, making a report. Um, have you spoken to him at all, Greg? Do you have anything that you'd want to share with us? Um, I specifically, I, I got. Go ahead. All right, um, Greg, can you, uh, a couple things. Um, Scotty gotten a hold of you. Uh, I've had numerous requests and we're still, 
tough, far enough out that there could be some value in this. Um, Carla Howell is still trying to get a high resolution picture of you. I, I, I feel so helpless. I get it. Knowing, knowing that, is, that the question is out there that I cannot solve. Uh, I mean, other than somebody just actually taking my picture, I mean, can, can we do that? I mean, uh, I the mean, thing is, is I think they want that for the national, for the LP News, and that's all it is. Yeah, that's yeah. all it is. Yeah. And Scotty oh, said is. he'd take care of it, and then last night or the night before at six o'clock, yeah. Carla gets a hold of me yeah. and said, "You know, we're going to print in an hour, and I still don't have this." Yeah. And I'm like, it, it's, how, it's, how do I fix that at this point? Carla Howell. Carla Howell. Really cool. How about now? So, so <laughs> my, no, no, see, my see, suggestion would be let's still see if we can get a picture to her for the next one because that'll still publish before the primary, and even if it didn't, it'll be out there before the general. So, let's they're having let's, trouble finding a picture of you. Well, let's let's Google your name, a high resolution. Picture. <laughs> yes, it, 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 has, it, it has to be in that manner for I to I mean, I thought the, the picture that. I'm using now was good enough. I saw the pictures that Scotty he copied me when he yeah. delivered them to Carla uh -huh. four weeks ago. Yes. Not a word was said that they weren't sufficient quality. I thought she it was be Friday night. Okay. Says, I still don't have a picture. All I'm saying is that can we get this get something to her? I, I know it's so, I it for Michigan's yeah, exposure. I, I know it sounds so simple, but I had no idea so why that the picture that I'm using is right. good enough. I just wanted to I make have, sure that was out yeah, there. Yeah, yes, I, I, website and releases and that kind of thing. If they're not people that Scotty doesn't me. sound like he's the guy to help you. It, it, well, example. Scotty has his own, he's got his own thing. Right. So here today, and I've been writing down names to ask for help in, uh, for, from the party. And I really, really, really am hoping that I'm going to put this person on the spot. I, and I don't mean to, but I like Jeff's and Tiffany's energy. I really do. Okay. Okay. And, 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 and Jonathan, too. I mean, those, of course, Jonathan, he has his, uh, he, now he's a, a dad, soon to be dad. So I had to kind of like strike his name, even though he's offered to help out. But I know being a dad, <laughs> a newborn dad, is going to be. I would love to help out. And I'm you. not afraid of any part of Detroit. I'll uh, go <laughs> wherever you need me to go. Yeah. It's not, not but, a problem. Uh, but, well, same here. I, I, I'm, I grew up there. So it, I, it, I, listen, this thing. This, before it was cool. Yeah, there's no, there, there's some neighborhoods that I'm not, even I'm not going into because it's the worst of, because it's the worst of time. Right. Yes, it's the worst me, of time. Me and Tiffany are going in here and please let us know what we can do. Oh, I'm, I, I'm, I, my plan is to update the parties uh, uh, every step of the way. Okay. Do you have a, a campaign committee set up? Uh, who do we need to make the checks out? to? Nobody in particular except for, I'm, I'm okay. the treasurer. Okay, so. Do you got a separate bank account, though? I haven't, I, I haven't done that yet. I can help okay. you. It's really right. nice. Yeah, you need to do that. Uh, uh, Greg, Greg, Greg Stiffer has told me I should do that, but I, I, I don't want to do it before it's time. Okay. Uh, so. It's really easy. <laughs> it, it, it's I, it, it yeah, is know, easy. It just it, needs to get uh, Greg Stiffer has been there for me many, many times on this issue. Well, he's on the phone. Yes, okay. And so, so if I, he has offered to help uh, okay. uh, on their part. We need to move on. Um, let's just say this. This is a complicated process that is not easily solved. We have two different databases. Whether we like it or not, we no longer have what existed 15 years ago, what was called um, the Unified Membership Plan. And at that time, um, you know, we had appointed someone in the state to be the liaison so that, it, and, and even at this time, if you want to know your membership status, just email Jason. He'll Am I allowed to be on his board if I'm not a member? Because yes. I'm not right now. I think well, you have to renew immediately if it's pointed out to you. That's a good yeah, question. You're supposed to I'm, renew I'm, immediately I'm, according to the bylaw. That's a good question. But let, let's just say March 19th. The, the reality yeah, of it is you that. joined last year. And um, the, the point I'm getting at is that when people expire, our affiliates who are the people on the ground that need to be proactive here to say JJ or any group of membership committee, which, you know, why have the job if you don't want to do anything? And, and I understand he's busy, that's not meant to be a slam, but it is meant to say that we haven't been very proactive in that area. Like, I don't know that I'm expired. 
He like, just told you yes. Right, right now. But, but she like, didn't uh, get a notification but I have no at the idea. time. I, so I don't want somebody else to reach out to me. Like I'd kind of like to know on my own. Like my number. We don't fired. have in our capability a online. Like you go to your bank and log in. We just don't have the capability. I wish we did. Well, even like an automatic receipt of my registration, I could have to say. When that. you pay online. Do they not get that? I did, I Does that not get, get back I, I, to the email I didn't that you get anything identified? from the LAC. No, I, got, I got nothing. I didn't get okay. Is that no, possible? like I said, I told her at the time is to take a screenshot of the confirmation yeah. page. Hang that's on. all. She and that's not a bad thing when you're trying to prove something. But I have a question, Kevin. Okay. Then I'll then I'll let you talk. Do you do we have in our website template the capability of most of these people? The first thing I do is I try to email them and, and ask when would be a good time to talk. Is there a way that when I get that email, because I get one, and I think you do too, when someone pays, that it also replicates to the email that they've identified as their contact? Actually, through PayPal, it's supposed to automatically. Now, here's the thing, though. On the new system, it has the capability, but we haven't found somebody to run that yet properly. Plus, through our website, it lays. Andy Burns is working with us to try to get it set up. He's so been doing that for two it. years. I know. Then, then he's, he's not doing it. No, no, he's doing it. We just need somebody from our state to do it. He's not from our state. He's from national. And um, to, to, to put a, a, a mechanical link in place? It's up to us to actually come up with the wording and everything. And the thing is, is that it has to be tied back to an email list, and we don't have an email list. We need somebody I'm not understanding. I'm just but, not she's, understanding. she's kind of addressed some of. Oh, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not done. Um, the other thing is, is that uh, uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. But we, oh, Lisa, or not Lisa, um, uh, Lisa. Joya. Lisa Lane Joya. Yeah. Lisa yeah. Joya. Yeah. She she is willing to be on the welcoming committee, but again, we haven't been able to get together. She wants to be the person to contact those people. She's a good pick too. Okay, yeah, she's, and, and that, and that doesn't in point. any way address oh, the question. Yeah. I mean, I I get that, but that's getting done. Mm -hmm. I do it myself. Yeah. So that's not the question. The, the question is to address Tiffany's concern: is when someone signs up. PayPal sends it to your email. She used PayPal and it did I, not. I, I received nothing. I mean, nothing. Okay. I, 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 I didn't did. know if it worked. Uh, maybe you it goes to your junk. I always get a receipt. Yeah, maybe it goes to your junk mail because PayPal yeah. always I have, I have one email So maybe address. we're not the problem I, I there. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm on the board and I'm not a member. That's not a problem. <laughs> well, that's well, a problem. Yeah, you can write a check. But, but that's the, but we're talking about two different, different things. They're supposed to take Bitcoin. We're talking about two different things. I know exactly what your rules are. When someone expires, we're not. We haven't responded to that. That's a different issue. How would anyone know if they expire? I'm not sure if I'm. Like, how would I know? I like. I have no idea when I signed up because That's I never my received question anything. Kind of addresses that. Yeah, go ahead, Jeff. All right. My question is, for the last two years, at the beginning of the LEC, we have said we're going to get someone on this database and we're going to sort out this database and we're going to figure out what's wrong with the database and we're going to get streamlined and it hasn't gotten done. We need to make someone, I mean, maybe, I guess this is our last meeting, so we need to figure out someone next year who's going to be actually accountable for straightening that out. I thought the membership committee was going to do it this year. Apparently, they haven't done anything. We need to get this database situation straightened out because it's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment, been an embarrassment since I've been on the LEC, which is three straight years now. This is, is PayPal the only way to join? They used to have Bitcoin, but it's, it's, they've let it last. So PayPal's the only way? Apparently, PayPal and uh, some other credit card uh, method. The Bitcoin is still active. Oh, it is. So, okay. okay. I'm just All right. Cool. There you I go. received anything from PayPal. Maybe I paid in Bitcoin. I don't know. I can't remember how I paid. Except Jonathan hasn't set up the Bitcoin. But so right. Like, That's I, what I meant by let it last. I, I'm thinking I paid. Uh, let's just say this much: when you show up at convention, now. you'll need to be a member, or they won't let you in the door. But if you're a <laughs> former <laughs> member, you can pay at the door. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that is the point I think Kim was making about the numbers and how they do this is that it's not unusual because we don't have a good process and, and there are two different things the question is do the electronic thing work answer I think it does I get a PayPal thing I don't, but you use PayPal what about people that don't I don't sign into PayPal I sign in as a guest I don't use PayPal okay but that's what our website is our no, website is I think, I think I paid Bitcoin well and that could be too either so way is, is does not the PayPal device recognize a payment made 
and then email. It's two separate things. Yeah, it's Why would PayPal have anything to do with it? I don't think it is, although I'm not paid in Bitcoin. Yeah, know, PayPal has nothing to do with the Bitcoin system. Oh, so That's if you go into the Bitcoin, Bitcoin link, you're not doing PayPal. The Bitcoin goes straight into our like, I don't, bank, bank, have a bank account. account. Gotcha. So okay. I'm okay. I'm not familiar with that, and maybe that's the flaw we need to address. Anyway, order, it's 2 p.m. Yeah. orders of the day. Can yeah. we skip the rest of the reports and just adjourn, or is that out of line to suggest? Well, you can make that motion. Well, I'm saying orders of the day, which is what that would be. Okay. Second. Two. Okay. Would everyone like to adjourn? All in favor? Aye. How many did I hear there? I heard four. Did I see hands? Aye. One, Five. two, three, four, five. Looks like we're adjourned.